JTV changing you. God bless everybody. This is the Gaffa, Prophet Pastor Java. Excited again to bring you another new program right here on KTV and all my social media. I'm just excited that Jesus is the reason why I'm sitting here to give you a message. Remember, I dealt with 66 levels of speaking in tongues. And I dealt with um, why is it number 66 is the number that we use in the prophetic, which is the maximum number in the prophetic. And I told you, if you read the Bible, you're going to see that the Bible has got 66 books because the prophetic maximum number is number 66. And the prophet that wrote the longest book in the Bible was Isaiah, the one that was able to reach up to 66 chapters. Isaiah has got 66 chapters because the prophetic ends on number 66. So we have dreams and meanings of dreams, and we have a lot, thousands and thousands. But today, I'm bringing you only 66 dreams and the meanings. When you dream dreams, what do you see in the dream? Many of you are scared of what you see in the dream, but I'm going to be here today to tell you what is the meaning of what you dream so you can understand the meaning of whatever God has been putting in your dreams. Sometimes it can be the devil. Sometimes it can be just your mind. So I'm going to be dealing with this so you can become into, into be set free. You, God can set you free and put you where you belong, where you need to be, so life can be easier for you. Number one, when you are dreaming dreams, let's say you dream of a castle. A castle represents responsibility. There is a big work ahead of you. God is going to put a lot of stuff in your space so you can take off everything. So number one is castle. You just have to start preparing for the next responsibilities God is going to give you. Number two, when you dream of a volcano. A volcano represents a lot of things. It represents arguments. It represents drama. It represents fights. It represents hell. It can be the enemy attacking you. So before God allows him to attack you, God brings you the message so that you can prepare for the battle. Remember Jesus says, Peter, the enemy have asked it of you, but I prayed for you. I've already covered you. So God always forewarns you so that you, can, you are already forearmed. So volcanoes represents all that. But if you go to a valley, the valley represents a lot of things. One of those things is uh, valley represents an inferiority complex. It represents yourself having low esteem for yourself, looking down at yourself, despising yourself, uh, never thinking that you can be someone in life. When God already placed you somewhere, and many people, they, 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 they don't understand the difference between inferiority complex and humility. They think if I'm looking down on myself, I am humble. That don't, it doesn't work like that. You must see yourself as you are. The hypocrisy is to put yourself where you are not. So if God puts you in the high places, see yourself in the high places. If God puts you in the lower places, put yourself in the lower places. So it, it, that's the interpretation of that. But we go to boots, shoes, sandals, slippers, depending on what exactly are you are you wearing? But mainly it represents authority. Anything that has to do with shoes, slippers, whatever in the feet, it represents authority. Remember, Jesus, God says to Joshua, wherever the soles of your feet shall tread upon, ye shall possess. Wherever the shoes or wherever the soles of your feet shall step upon, ye shall possess. Why? Because authority is upon the feet. That's why when the devil stole authority from Adam and took the keys and the power from Adam to dominate on the earth realm, before God removed from, from the garden, he knew if the devil can step on the planet earth, he is going to possess it with the power that he took from Adam. So what did God do? God said from today, snake, you shall not use your legs again. No foot shall touch the ground. You shall go on your belly. Why? Because if he was going to step, he was going to possess and dominate. So shoes, slippers, sandals, they all represent 
authority. If it is a high cut, that's big authority. If it is low cut like this, it also represents that you are limited in your authority. So mainly it depends with what exactly are you going through. Number five, when we talk about jeans, jeans, if you dream yourself wearing a jean or you see yourself wearing a jean, it represents insurance. It represents insurance. Number six, when you dream yourself wearing black, let's say I'm wearing black right now. Black represents tongues. It represents faith. It represents uh, the unknown. Then we go to number seven. I'm just rushing so we can finish all of them, 66. Number seven, if you dream yourself eating a mango, mango, it represents uh, access, mango. M-A-N-G-O, men go. It can be access into a wedding, men go. It can be a separation from a man. It represents a lot of things. It depends, is it a yellow mango? Is it a red mango? Is it a green mango? It represents a lot of things. But in short, it represents access. Access into what? If it is green, you are given access to cross to the other side. Remember, on the traffic light, if it's green, it represents that. If it's red, you are being given access, but it's not at the time. Don't move. Don't make any move. If it is yellow, you are being healed. God is healing you, so he's letting go of the past. It represents a lot of things. Number eight, when you dream yourself on a wheelchair, wheelchair, it represents that you are depending on other people. It represents that there are people that are pushing your life. It could be your friends, it could be your family, it could be people around you that are controlling your life or you, you have your own destiny but they're giving you a destiny that you want to move in. You want to do something but they're pushing you to do the other things so you need to be set free. You need your own but you need your own space and you need to stand on your feet and begin to do something. You don't need to, a, a, a dependent syndrome where you are depending on other people and you are stuck there a b c d so you just have to be in a place where you know i've dreamt of a witcher i have to be doing other better things number nine when you dream of a crocodile crocodile number one it represents a business could be a business where you are doing crocodile shoes crocodile belts different stuff it represents business any type of business not only shoes and belts any type of business it also represents the spirit of Leviathan. If you read the book of uh, Job chapter number 41, it exposes the spirit of Leviathan like a crocodile, which is a water spirit and a ground spirit. Then, number 10, when you, rip, when you dream yourself seeing an eagle, an eagle represents the, the gift of trance. God will be moving you from dreams or visions into trance. Tr a dream is when you see things happening in your dream. A vision is when you see things while well, you're up. But a trance is when your spirit comes out to experience it. Like uh, Ezekiel chapter number 37. It says, And the hand of God was upon me, and the Spirit of the Lord took me into the valley of the dry bones. He experienced it. It's a trance. Number two, the eagle represents uh, the prophetic. It represents the prophetic. Number three, it represents patience. There's they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength like eagles. Patience, it represents patience. We move to number 10, a dove. When you dream of a dove, remember Jesus Christ, he speaks and Jesus says, I, uh, in the Bible it says, when Jesus was baptized, heaven was opened and a dove came from heaven and came upon his shoulders. What happened? When the dove came upon his shoulders, he began to see things. Why a dove? A dove represents the Holy Spirit, number one. Number two, it represents a lot of things. If you stretch the wing of a, of, a, of a dove, the first wing, you have got nine strong feathers, which represents the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. The other nine re represents the nine blessings, the nine beatitudes. Blessed are the poor, blessed are the meek, blessed are all this ABCD. Then the tail, we have got five strong feathers. It represents the five fold ministry, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. The dove, we have got two legs. Two legs represents the Old Testament and the New Testament. God will be saying, balance the word. You need to balance the Old Testament 
and the New Testament. Many people, they despise the Old Testament. They want to believe in the New Testament, but you can never be of the new unless you're of the old. That means God wants you to move in the old and the New Testament. And the dove is the only bird that you have got breasts, that breasts feed their own uh, young, young, young doves. Other birds, they don't do that, but a dove, it brings milk. The Bible speaks and the Bible says, I gave you bones. I gave you milk because you are nepios, you were young kids in Christ. But now that you have grown, I feed you with the bones. The reason why I'm feeding you with bones is because you've grown. So when you are young, the Holy Spirit comes and gives you the milk of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. When you grow, He gives you the bones. That's number 10. We move to number 11. Number 11, it, uh, if we talk about a snake, which is really controversial in the body of Christ, many people, they believe Kaba Santo La Prahati. If you dream of a snake, it is the devil. Yes, it is the devil, but that's not the only thing. Number one, it is the devil. Number two, it's prosperity. That's why to buy a belt that has a uh, snake skin, it's so expensive. It represents prosperity. Number three, it also represents deliverance. If you are in a season where God is delivering you, you wonder, I'm speaking in terms, I'm fasting 40 days and nights, I'm in the spirit, I'm dreaming a snake, what's happening? It also represents deliverance, especially from death. That's why when people were dying, the Bible says Moses lifted up a, a, a snake. And what happened? Whoever looked at the snake, survived from death. So it also represents deliverance from death. So it, it, it depends where, what type of a dream are you having. Then number 12. Number 12, if you dream of a cattle, an ox, a bull, it represents number one, evangelism. That's why they use an ox to plow. To, 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 to get into the farm and grade the farm so that someone can come and plant some seeds. It represents an evangelist. Number two, it represents tribal spirits from your father's side. From your father's side. That's a cattle, a cow, an ox. It represents that. 